Hello everyone, welcome to Baiju's exam prep. Hope you guys are fine. So in today's session, we'll be talking regarding suspended solids. Suspended solids we study in quality parameters of water because when we talk about quality parameters of water, our aim is to add desirable quality and to remove undesirable quality of water. In suspended solid comes under the category of physical parameters of water. Physical is something which you can touch, feel or see. In suspended solids, you can see a glass of water is there and you can see that fine solids are being suspended. Eventually, some solids are dissolved in water too. Now, I have to calculate what is the amount of suspended solids. What is the concentration of suspended solids? And it will be very much beneficial if I am able to calculate the amount of dissolved solids as well as the concentration of dissolved solids. And for that reason, I will be going for gravimetric technique. That is, I will be measuring the weight of suspended solids. Coming up next, a suspended solids and dissolved solids in together makes total solids. So, why not? First calculate total solids, then suspended solids and then dissolved solids. So coming up next, total solids, if I want to calculate how much is the total solids, which is the summation of suspended solids and dissolved solids. So what I have to do is, I'll be taking an oven dried weight of crucible, which I'll term it, let us suppose, W. Don't go with the nomenclature, but for the easiness, I'm telling you that let's designate it as W. You can take X, Y, Z, whatever is beneficial for you. So, oven dried weight of crucible is W. I'll be taking one liter of water sample. This crucible, I'll be adding water, putting it in the oven for 104 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. The water will vaporize. After that, I'll be getting the crucible as well as the oven dried solids. Technically, it is total solids. So, with this, I'll term it as W1. The weight of total solids will be W1 minus W, okay, which was the weight of the crucible. So, when I subtracted the weight of the crucible, I came to know the weight of total solids. That was the weight. And if I want to know the concentration, I'll divide it by the volume of sample which I have taken. Here, I have taken 1 liter. Now, this was regarding total solids. Talking next about suspended solids and dissolved solids. So, preferably, first we'll go for suspended solids. Suspended solids, you can see it, of course. For calculating suspended solids, generally in layman terms, we say that we pour the water which consists of suspended solids and dissolved solids in a filter paper. But let me tell you, if you want to go to the basics, we pour it in a glass fiber filter. So it will be beneficial uh, in examination, never ever they mention, never ever they take the weight of it, but you never know when they'll ask it. So technically, if we go in a little depth, you will see that we pour it in a glass fiber filter. So weigh the oven dried glass fiber filter so that we cannot avoid any ambiguity. Let us term it as W star. Again, we will be taking 1 liter of raw water sample. Next, what we will be doing, we will be pouring this 1 liter of raw water sample into the glass fiber filter. All the suspended solids will be accumulated. And these suspended solids will be oven dried at 104 degrees Celsius. And after this, we will be getting the suspended solids as well as the glass fiber filter. Now your question can be, ma'am, why there is a need for, why there is a need for oven drying it? There was a filter paper, there was suspended solids, you could have directly weighed. No, because it would contain some water as well. And therefore, there is a need for oven drying the sample. So after that, you will be getting suspended solids plus the weight of glass fiber filter. So that's it. Just subtract the weight of glass fiber filter from W1 star, you will get the weight of suspended solids. If you want to get the concentration divided by the volume of water sample you have taken, as simple as that. Similar thing goes for dissolved solids. But here, when you were, when you were pouring the suspended solids, technically the total solids, the suspended solids was there in the filter paper. But 
the dissolved solids was not. Dissolved solids pass through the beaker, crucible, whatsoever you want to take. So I'll be taking that sample, okay? I'll be heating it at 104 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. After that, I'll be getting the weight of dissolved solids plus the weight of crucible. So what I have to do, if I want to calculate the weight, I will do what? From W2 star, I will subtract the weight of the crucible. If I want to get the concentration, I'll divide it by the volume of sample I have to take it. Next one important thing I'll tell you. You know what? Technically, we say that we are measuring suspended solids. Technically, we say that we are measuring dissolved solids. But let me tell you one thing. All the suspended solids are not retained in the glass fiber filter. All the dissolved solids are not passed. There will be some sort of minor dissolved solids which can be present in the filter paper. There are chances for that. Okay. So, yeah, that's the thing which you should know. Now, coming up further. So, that was very basic. We calculated suspended solids. We calculated dissolved solids. And we calculated a combination of them that is total solids. Now, coming up further, I want to go in a little bit more deep. I want to know out of this suspended solids, how many are organic in nature? Out of this suspended solids, how many are inorganic in nature? Okay, you told me broadly that I'm talking about suspended solids, but I want to go in further detail. So, let me tell you a few things before we proceed. When you talk about suspended solids, suspended solids, and in that, if you talk about organic solids. So, organic solids are volatile in nature. That's why in examinations when you go, they write it either organic solids or they mention it as volatile solids. While inorganic solids does not have a tendency to vaporize. So, they are called as inorganic solids. They are called as non-volatile solids. And thirdly, they are also called as fixed solids. So, in any manner, they can ask. Okay. Now, I want to calculate it. But what do you mean by organic? Organic compounds are those compounds. I am just avoiding the exemptions and all. I am telling you the ones which are we predominantly use. So when you talk about organic compounds, they are those compounds which consist of predominant basis carbon in it. So we have polymer chains and all. We have paper. We have soap. These are organic compounds. Next, if we talk about other inorganic compounds. So, in organic compounds is like table salt, NaCl, sodium chloride, hydrochloric acid, carbon dioxide. So, these are inorganic compounds. Just for your reference, predominant basis carbon is there in organic compounds, while inorganic carbon or carbon is not there in inorganic compounds. Avoiding the exceptions. Okay. Now, I want to calculate how much suspended organic, how much suspended inorganic, how much dissolved inorganic and how much dissolved inorganic. How should I calculate? And there we go for muffle furnace. So you could see this muffle furnace in the next. That here muffle furnace is there. Okay. So muffle furnace when you talk about. In muffle furnace it has the capacity that it can provide high temperature 600 to 650 degrees Celsius. You can see it. So now what happens? I want to calculate. I want to calculate the organic, inorganic, technically volatile, non-volatile, or you can call it as volatile and non-volatile, you can call it as fixed solids also or inorganic solids also. So now what happened? Suspended solids, you already calculated how much it was, how much it was in the back slide, how much it was, it was how much, it was W1 star. Okay. Now what you did here, suspended solids is there, glass fiber filter is there. You put it in a muffle furnace, generally 600 to 650 degrees Celsius. Can you imagine such a high temperature? 100 degrees Celsius, we know, and here it is 600 degrees Celsius. So now what happens exactly? Why do we have to provide such a high temperature? And that too for one to three hours. The reason is, while you provide such a high temperature, organic solids will vaporize inorganic solids will remain. So what will be happening? There will be volatile suspended solids as you can see. Volatile suspended solids are there. So the weight of the fixed suspended solids because they are only remaining. So obviously you will be able to measure that only. So the fixed suspended solids 
or non-volatile solids or inorganic solids along with the glass fiber filter are there which will total make W3 star. So if you want to get fixed suspended solids, just subtract the weight of glass fiber filter. If you want to get volatile suspended solids, what do you have to do? Subtract suspended solids minus inorganic suspended solids. Because let me tell you, suspended solids is equal to organic suspended solids plus inorganic suspended solids. Suspended solids, you already measured it. Okay, which you called it as W1 star. Now, out of the suspended solids, you were able to measure the fixed suspended solids. Why? Because organic suspended solids, they vaporized. So, the one which was remaining, that was inorganic. Just you subtracted the weight of the glass fiber filter, that's it, nothing. And in examination till now, they haven't mentioned anywhere the weight of the glass fiber filter, but that to be on the safer side, I'm taking the weight of the glass fiber filter. So actually the one which is remaining after the vaporization, it is inorganic suspended solids, okay? Or you call it as non-volatile suspended solids. So you generally measure it. But if in case they're giving you the value of glass fiber filter, just subtract it. So the moment you got inorganic suspended solids, or you can say non-volatile suspended solids, subtract it from suspended solids, you will get organic suspended solids. So if you say, ma'am, is it not possible to calculate organic suspended solids directly? Yeah, because the one which is left and the one which was in total, the one which was in total was suspended, the one which is left is inorganic. When you subtract, then only you will get organic suspended solids. Okay, so right now I told you suspended solids, suspended organic solids, and Suspended inorganic solids. Now coming towards the dissolved solids. Now, when you talk about dissolved solids, here you have taken the oven that crucible was there in which dissolved solids was. Okay, you'll again put it in the muffle furnace. One uh, here also 600, 650 degrees Celsius, one to three hours. What you will be getting here again, organic dissolved solids will vaporize inorganic or fixed dissolved solids will remain along with the weight of the crucible which you will term it as W4 star. So now what you have to do? If you want to calculate non-volatile subsolids, just subtract the weight of the crucible, you will get the weight of dissolved solids, fixed dissolved solids or inorganic solids or you can call it as non-volatile dissolved solids. So what you did? Just subtracted the weight of the crucible. Similarly, if you want to calculate volatile dissolved solids or organic solids, because volatile or you call it as organic solids, what you have to do, total dissolved solids value you initially calculated, just subtract inorganic solids from. Exactly like you did for suspended solids. Because dissolved solids is the combination of organic dissolved solids and inorganic dissolved solids. Inorganic dissolved solids you already calculated that is non-volatile solids, you already measured it by gravimetric technique. So what you have to do? Dissolved solids minus inorganic dissolved solids will make organic dissolved solids. Okay, so these are very much simple. It might become very confusing if you see it for the first time, but they are very simple while it goes for calculation part, while it goes for computation part. In many cases, they give you the weight of the crucible and all. In many cases, they directly give you the weight of solids. Till now, never in exams, they have given you the weight of glass fiber filter. So, if they don't give you the weight, that is more than sufficient. You don't have to subtract it. Anymore. Okay. So, these are the simple funda regarding suspended solids. I hope you enjoyed this session. And if you have any queries, just let me know. Similarly, here, the upcoming sessions you will be having for screening, sedimentation, and then we will be having a practice session for environmental engineering. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye, good night, and study hard.